It is crucial that you read through all the literature, as this information will help you understand how the board operates. Alrighty, the time has come. Let's head to a nice, flat, open space, maybe with a wall or a pole, something to kind of stabilize yourself on. It might be tempting to look at your feet, but don't do this. Look up where you want to go, slightly lean, and you'll be moving forward. It's common to want to fight the board. The more relaxed you are, the better off you'll be. Additionally, a great way to learn turning is by simply aiming your hips and shoulders in the direction you want to go, and your body and board will follow. Take some markers on the ground as a guide to challenge yourself. Here I'm using parking stalls to practice my turning. You can approach from both sides to get your heel and toe turning down. Another way you can practice is by doing figure eights. Figure eights are a favorite of mine as it allows you to work on either wide or super tight turns. The same thing goes for carving. Set some markers, practice shifting your weight from side to side at different speeds. At the end of the day, one wheeling is intuitive and pretty easy to learn, but it is a board sport and you should treat it as one. I know that all the nuances of riding come with time. So take it easy, enjoy the process, and we'll see you out there.